quote. Spring training is for pitchers to build up. It's always has been. Oh, it always has been. Always will be. I agree. I, I I think they do need to get their outings in, and you know, for hitters, take another day off if you need. It, if you feel like you're already good. It, spring training article while we have a moment i hope i'm sure we'll get interrupted but i don't care that's good um if it's a player so it's i'll just say this there was an article in the athletic zach mizell and cody staven hagen did a great job about the potential of spring training being shortened it's not being discussed it was just more kicked around as a question to players and ron washington said quote don't take this the wrong way but when you hear players say that spring training is too long check the generation oh but then you had a lot of other guys obviously saying it is too long. And I, in fairness, I mean, I'm not that young anymore. My entire life, I feel like I've heard players, especially position players, saying, eh, we could chop this down by two, three weeks. I'm going to quote Steve Jeltz on this one. If you don't know who Steve Jeltz is, look him up. Look it up. He said, his exact words were, I didn't do nothing until we got the spring training. <laughs> so, Ron, I get what you're saying. The generation is different. A, they had greenies to make it through parts of the season, okay, to make it through tough parts of the season. True, true. And B, I think guys come into spring training like peak level. Before, the best players that would come into spring training were the guys that played winter ball. They'd been playing the whole time, and then they'd get into spring training. They're mid, mid-season mid form. Not that they're exhausted, just that they're mid-season form. Mm-hmm. Now guys are going to tread. They're going to drive line. They're going to, you know, high level performance studio of your choice in the area, and they're coming in. They're ready to go. Dudes are throwing ninety nine, first live bullpen, and you're like, uh, why do we need spring training? Why do we need six weeks of him throwing super hard? To me, I agree, but again, it's a mute point. It will never happen. There is too much cash heesh in spring training, everything around spring training, political, political leaders run on platforms of, Hey, we're keeping, we're keeping the blue Jays in Dunedin. We're not, they were looking at leaving. They're like, if we don't give $200,000 of our Dunedin tax money to the stadium to revamp the stadium to what it is, the blue Jays will leave and they'll go to another city. And that is six weeks of tourist boom for that area. Not 200 K. It's a lot more than that. For the for no for the big league stadium, a Florida stadium? No, no, no. But We're not for talking the about facility, the whole area. There's some spring training cities that have given seven figs. Uh, no, that I don't know. I'll, I'll Todd, you talk. I'll, I'll find. They it. dropped they dropped eighty on the new minor league complex, and I thought it mil. was yeah, right. So and then another hundred and twenty on the big league field. Right, but you're saying Dunedin only gave two hundred for that? Yeah. I don't think the Blue Jays put any of it into it. There's an article I read a long time ago when no, they were no. building it. Dunedin, though. Who, so yeah. who, who put into that facility? Dunedin. Dunedin. Right. You said 200,000. 120 plus 80,000. That's it? That's all it costs to fix that up? Yeah, because Shohei could have bought the facility with his first year of salary. I think it's millions. Smaller stadiums. Yeah. Did I say K or did I say million? You, you said, said K. K. The whole time I was like, why Why is $200 million not that much? Oh, oh. $200 million. Thank you. Not I'm 200 like, you K. Said, you said 200 K. Like, the whole time, 200 K. You said 200 Michael K. They, like, might, wait, they might have gotten some paint for the seats. I tripled down on me <laughs> saying guy, my whole man? mind was at 200 million. This dude yes, did it. I got it. Cor- or, uh, Dylan Cease breaking news show late last night and that was hasn't fault. been the same and, since. Ta- and and scott's been at my house for the last six days you got, i like you guys together because you're like shoulder to shoulder makes <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we're goofy today we're goofy no but the, the last point i'll make is yeah they got to make their money over there because when they do leave remember you play in the florida state league uh, i know no. i don't know if it's different now but there'd be like 15 people it wouldn't be nobody as out. big so yeah, yeah they got to make their money but I do like what Stephen Vogt said, the quote he did, because this is what I believe in too. It's he quote, spring training is for pitchers to build up. It's always has been oh it always has been, always will be. I agree. I, I, I think they do need to get their outings in. And, you know, for hitters, take another day off if you need it, if you feel like you're already good. It, it is what it is. The regulations are a little tough. Snit said that the other day when he came on on with us. Voters told me that, hey, you know what? 
you can't – if you're not going to shorten spring training, don't put the regulations on me. I don't have to take three of my superstars to Palm Beach if or – or uh, Yeah, they have to have four, four of the regulars going. And, and, two, and you have to establish who your regulars are or <laughs> else they'll just take all minor leaguers. They have yeah. to be able to – May, maybe mitigate that in the sense of like not making those guys make it, making all those guys go yeah. because that affects the scheduling too. And, but there's rules, there's MLB rules and they actually get fined for that. If they don't take they superstars do. or no, just major league caliber guys, do they have guys to play make the everyday team. guys every day and they have to play. They have to be in the line. You have to bring four guys to every road trip that, it that it's either three or four. Yeah. So the starting pitcher is usually one and then three. Yep. Three batters. That's so that that's where I was thinking three. I would mess with it because I bet you they don't and have they do. this caveat ready. So I, I bring three or four. I put them out in the field for one pitch and then I go. Yeah, but you, so you, you just made a two and a half, half hour, hour drive. drive. <laughs> but at least they didn't have to play. I gotta do it. Oh no, no, no. You get your three to no. five innings and in, or maybe even they're you missing get two at bats, three at bats. Yeah. Whit Merrifield's missing his Valspar tea time if well, he doesn't go that day someone else uh, takes the hit but depends. they're they're held to that standard and there's a financial you get fined i remember one one day we looked up and we were in winter haven where the indians were now you know guardians then moved to arizona and i looked up and i was in the starting lineup for the blue jays when i was a minor leaguer mm. and i'm looking around and i was like man oh man we have none of our starters here. Right, exactly. And Reed Johnson was leading off, and Reed Johnson goes, looks like the Blue Jays are getting fined today. <laughs> Not a lot of guys here. And we were facing CC Sabathia, too. Mm. First pitch, Reed Johnson, line drive right off of Sabathia's forearm. It looked bad. Sabathia drops an F-bomb, walks off the mound. It was supposed to be his last start of spring training. But at the end of spring training, yeah. all those superstars – Frank Thomas ain't going. Troy Gloss ain't going. Oh. Vernon Wells ain't going to Winter Haven to play in those games. So yeah. I think that's where the answer is. It's definitely not less games. Sorry, voter. You're a manager. You're going to all six weeks of games. Mm -hmm. Hang with them. Yeah. And a lot of people love planning spring training. It makes sense. It's good for the kids, too. It's good for the kids. You get moment. access to the players. You do have more of a window here if it's the – the six week range versus the what do they want three to four? I think that's what I mean. You could you could say it better. I, I had to come into spring training ready to go to show a team yeah. that I could play or not play, whether I was going to AAA or not. But mm -hmm. what did you need? I I would say at least four weeks. So how many abs? So you're saying you I, need like I would need forty to fifty at bats. Okay. See, I would say that's probably higher than most guys would say, yeah. but uh, maybe really? I'm wrong. What do they need? Thirty forty. I always knew my number was I know 25. Albert Pujols wanted like 80 one year, I remember hearing him really? talk about it. Did it matter like back-to-back, -back, <clears throat> off, back-to-back-to-back, -to -back -to -back, off, or was it just a certain amount of ABs? In, you never... in the beginning, I wanted a day in between, and then halfway through, it's like, all right, back-to-back, -back, then have a day, and then like the last week and a half, it was like, all right, kind of go all and, – and it wasn't playing all nine, but it was like, all right, at least get five to seven in. At least get five to seven. The one, the one year I was a starter, I was named the starter in spring training in thirteen. When I was with the Phillies. I know they were <laughs> no really rough. Wide. Yeah, wow. I was pretty legit. How many injuries? Chooch, Chooch got a suspension before the season, so he's out for twenty five games. Okay. And I remember Charlie Manuel was like, "He's like, you're gonna be the starter," and, and I like my starters to play. First game of spring <laughs> training, I went seven. Oh, I went wow. seven. Vic Carapazza Cold was behind the dish. Uh, Vic. Vic goes, are you going CG first day? <laughs> I said, Vic, you and I have grinded in the minor leagues. Yeah. I said, if they want me to stay in the game, I am not reminding them to take me out of the game because yeah. they may never put a cold tub. It was nice. I was always a cold tub guy. I yeah. love the cold tub. You're, you're a freak. We know yeah. that. Freak a leak. Was that? <laughs> well, because I wasn't PDs. What, what did he get? Uh, Adderall. Adderall. Oh, Adderall. Oh, okay. Okay. Which was, you know, it was, it was, it was greenies for some. At, at no, no, point. Adderall definitely works really well for guys. But when you have a prescription and then oh, there's like that a, whole deal, there's like a window yeah. that it, that it runs out because that stuff, like it's not, it's insane. It's not, it's not fair. There's, there's a lot of guys that got a bad rep for that. Should have just kept the greenies around or just 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't I'm know. not gonna. I'm not gonna. <laughs> and Crouch is like, I am not gonna condone. <laughs> you love green. Okay. I am. I do love spinach. Yes, Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody be sure to like and subscribe for more content we're back here every weekday all year long so do not miss an episode the videos are coming in all day here's another video you might enjoy baseball the way it should be covered 